Hi Aries, this is your weekly reading for the week starting 9th of December 2019. I did pre-shuffle of course as usual. I'm gonna cut the deck and draw you three cards. <coughs> Sorry about this. The first one is your major energy. Either it's a <coughs> the star card. Lovely energy for the week. I'm putting it in the middle. Okay. Cause four of uh, four of cups and effect seven of swords. Interesting. Supporting um, uh, influential energy is nine of swords. Nine of swords. Some fear is influencing your influencing your optimism. <laughs> you are optimistic here, but it's kind of a in a strange environment. Very strange environment can call it cautiously optimistic <laughs> this energy that leads to leading this to this week four of cups it is kind of stable plateau that you reached that you felt that you have under your uh, um, feet it's a stable ground now this Whatever extra that maybe comes on a side to your mind or from another person, you kind of try to ignore. Kind of all right. You all right where you are. I mean, maybe feeling bored is either bored or um, maybe slightly disappointed. But I think it's a boredom. Um, it's a it's a something that is achieved already. Celebrated, uh, maybe celebrated you, and you kind of dwell on that. Kind of feel good with it. You want to see this new offer, new ideas, you know, something to immediately move forward with. No, you're not happy with that. You you are very happy to be with your dreams. You know that? Dreaming about success. Um, not to put much in effort. You don't want to put effort in, in anything right now. It's kind of fearful of it. How it's gonna, how it, how it's gonna go, what is gonna happen. You know, so you kind of... Uh, Align to yourself that you're busy, um, you're not ready, or something like that. Behind the whole story is kind of a little bit of um, it's a fear actually of what comes next, where you're supposed to go next. You know, you've got idea, you, you, you are optimistic, you've got your dreams before you set and, and everything, and, and they're all very high and nice and everything's so optimistic. But the action this week, it's not. It, it is not going to fall. It's not going to follow. This week, it seems you you will be looking for excuse not to. You know, if you're not, you're not just not ready. You just feel, don't feel ready to move on. But whatever idea that you have, whatever that is in, on your mind, like something oh, so beautiful and optimistic or, or, or so, you know, superstar thing. But no, not this week. It is, yeah, look at this. <laughs> it's a wishful. Now, a five of wands and seven of swords. <laughs> How all appropriate. <laughs> and three of wands. The project is waiting, you know, you kind of, it, it is, change is coming. You will go, you will, it will turn. Three of wands, it means change is coming. You decided, it's, this is decisive, but you have to overgrow this fear. You have to overpass this fear that you feel right now. You know that you have to change. This is the two, two influential energies. You know that you have to go with these changes. You have to. That, that is inevitability. Decision is made. You're already into it. You know, you already kind of, I feel that you're already into it. And it is your personal conflict, of course. Will I take this offer or not? Should I stay? Should I go? I mean, it's kind of conflict within you. You have this conflict. At least this week, you are, um, you're definitely not going to move on. Definitely not going to move on. You will just looking for excuses not to. Definitely. Whatever it is. Is it your business project? Is it whatever you store? Whatever you're wishing for. You're wishing for something. Definitely, you've got it on your mind, 
and and you you preparing uh, all the changes are prepared you're preparing for it yeah yes you are preparing but you receive the little plateau you know kind of first some kind of first stage where you feel secure you can all right at this point now further perhaps his uh, um, movement is looking for maybe more either investment or more labor or um, more emotional uh, uh, involvement or uh, um, intellectual effort it is looking further advancement towards this what you what you definitely looking at <laughs> as your wish star um, um it's it's actually it requires a bit more and uh, this week december kind of a mid-december to mid-december you are not kind of you don't have that it's simple you don't have that energy within yourself you you're just gonna kind of let me just dream of it a bit more so to make sure you know so to make sure and and you're looking for excuses no i'll i'll um waiting for news or waiting for something else you will be waiting for something it's a very straightforward reading for you aries next uh, this this week you will overgrow this fear. This fear is definitely within you, like everybody. Like it's it's nothing that you only going through. Everybody when it's times is is for the, for the change and change is coming and you know it's coming and you've got uh, everything uh, set. You've got idea where to go. You've got everything and you already started with that. Now suddenly, oh, you're feeling okay. Let let's have some rest. Just thinking of it because it is beautiful. That what you wish for is is really beautiful, and and it seems it's reachable for you. It's kind of reachable. You you feeling it, you know. But this fear, um, can I manage? Can I not? I mean, it seems that maybe you you put this idea about something a bit bigger, you know, before you. And of course, there is like fear. Um, um, will I manage or will I have enough resources? Will I have so and so? Will I have help from, will somebody help me? Or, or you know, any, any, any kind of fear can, can um, be um, involved in here. Yeah. But it's absolutely normal with these two cards. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. <laughs> then change is coming. No, it is just fine. It's just fine to, to, to say, no, I don't have time right now. <laughs> I'm tired. It's all right. It's all right. Actually, this, you don't even need to explain anything to anybody. You just say, I'm not ready to move on at this point. And that's it. Yo, Nine of Cups and the Star. Yo, <laughs> wish is coming true. This week or next week or another a month or year, but it's coming. It is on your way. I mean, you know it. You know it. Changes there. You know it. So, if if this week you feel a bit nah, naggy, no, it's fine. It's fine. You don't really need to justify it. So perhaps you have to, you know, give some explanation to somebody. All right. Somebody going to ask you, why don't you? Why don't you? You already set the uh, um, the appointments or you already applied or why didn't you send an application? You know, somebody going to uh, um, ask question and you will be um, get the, these answers all around. <laughs> Not feeling well or so and so but it's all right it's okay these are beautiful cards i'm really loving it for you you've got the beautiful things before you lovely lovely areas hope you're gonna enjoy it